Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Caleb doing another review for survivaljunk.com and today we have the Spica Trigger Spotlight. So we're going to check it out and let you know how it does. Alright guys, well thanks for tuning in. Um, this is a pretty cool little item today. Um, got contacted by Spica, which is an Australian company. Um, I assume it's pronounced Spica. Maybe in Australia they pronounce it Spoika. It's my best Australian accent, so I forgive, uh, forgive me. But really powerful little, uh, you know, LED powered spotlight. I'm not going to flash it in the camera because I don't want to ruin my camera. But it's rather powerful. Um, <clears throat> shows up to 12, um, 1200 lumens. It said it's got a 600 meter full um, total range. So you can see almost out 600 meters with it. Um, we're going to do some testing once it gets dark here. I'm going to go out into the uh, woods out behind my house and check it out. But really neat little idea. Um, super lightweight. It's kind of like a rubberized uh, material, water resistant. Pretty, uh, pretty simple to hold, you know, just fits right in your hand, just like a, you know, like a trigger. Um, charging port is right down there, and then it's also got like a female screw-in adapter, so if you wanted to, you know, mount it, I'd imagine like, um, you know, a car or boat or something, you could do that. So, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and read off some of the specs here, off the box. <clears throat> so, Spica Trigger Spotlight designed for use in the field. The LED delivers enormous power with a tight focus beam to uncover whatever is in your path. Our handheld cordless operation Trigger Spotlight has completely custom ergonomically designed handle for maximum grip and comfort. It is compact, powerful, lightweight, and has an easy to use trigger. The spotlight has a female manning thread, just like I said. And it comes with a spotlight, USB cable, wall charger, and it does come with a car charger. Um, that's what you can hear banging around in the box, and I'll actually grab that out of the box just so I can show everybody that it is included. Um, it's actually got a dual, <clears throat> dual USB ports for this thing. Um, the instructions on this uh, spotlight do state to charge it the first time for 10 hours. Um, I did plug it into my wall with the included USB wall charger um, and it does have a light indicator on it when you're charging. It's red. When it's complete it turns green. It did not take me full 10 hours of charging this to get it to get the light to turn green so I guess it was partially charged. But you know, as you can see it's a very bright little spotlight. I'm just going to point it up here at my little green screen and I'm excited to see kind of what the range on this thing is um, once we go into the evening here and test it out but like I said super lightweight cool little design um, I believe you can unscrew the actual light portion of it using that little screw I'm not going to touch that because I'm not going to mess with it but <clears throat> read off some of the specs from the box so it's an ultra high power Cree LED, 15 watts of power. Uh, like I said, 1200 lumen brightness. Uh, the beam distance can reach out to 600 meters. <clears throat> Working time on this thing is two and a half hours from a full charge. Uh, the reflector size is 140 millimeters. Uh, weight is 0.55 kilograms. It is water resistant at a water resistance rating of IP65. Um, the bulb temperature is between 6,000 and 6,500 um, uh, uh, K, which I believe is Kelvin. <clears throat> it does obviously have a trigger for on and off. It's cordlessly operated and it can fully charge within five hours. So very cool. Like I said, Spica apparently appears to be an Australian owned, Australian operated company. And you can find them on Spica.team on Facebook and Instagram. So, yeah, I'm really excited to go test this thing out. And Spica just saying, cool job on the, uh, the logo. It was like the orange and black. It was a cool look. So, yep, guys, 
first thoughts super excited to give this thing a try and like I said I've got it all juiced up so we're gonna take it out here this evening and give it a whirl all right guys uh, it's nighttime so we're gonna give this uh, like a spotlight a test here as you can see it's pretty dark out <coughs> um, the camera, I imagine, isn't going to pick up very much light, but we're going to turn this thing on and see how it does. So, not too bad. I mean, I can definitely see quite a ways away. I'm going to just, uh, out here to the backyard and see how far we can point this thing out. So that's pointing at a tree that's about, mm, I'd say that's about 100 yards away. About the length of a soccer field. So this thing's pretty powerful. Um, walk into the woods a little bit here freak my neighbors out too much because this is a pretty bright light so I'd imagine people are curious what's uh, going on here yeah this thing's a uh, this thing's pretty bright I know it's probably hard to see that. I'm pointing it at a uh, pine tree right now. Now this thing's a uh, this thing's pretty amazing, actually, as far as the uh, beam goes. Wow, I'm super impressed with this thing actually. The range on this is a lot better than I, uh, I would have imagined just from seeing it. They definitely uh, <clears throat> say in the manual to not point this in somebody's eyes and I kind of get that now. This thing is wicked bright, and like I said, guys, I'm gonna um, gonna walk over here and point it at a house that is uh, <clears throat> being constructed right now, so nobody's in there. Sorry about that, my uh, father. Freaked out. Thought I was a. Uh, thought I was an intruder. So I assured him that was not the case. And we're gonna just point this light real quick at this house that is being constructed. And I'd say it's about 200 yards away. I know you can't probably see it too well from the from the footage here but I have a really good view on that light on the house and this thing is this thing is freaking awesome so anyway guys I'll walk back into the house here but again this is the uh, Spica spotlight you can find a link to it down below and uh, definitely check this out because this is probably the most powerful flashlight that I've ever uh, ever used. So, hope you guys enjoy the evening and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.